Dear all, welcome to this complete tutorial on how to use Fruity Loop Studio 21 from ImageLine, one of the very best DAWs you can use to make your own tracks, beats, and melodies applying outstanding audio effects and corrections. This is available for Windows and Mac OS in different versions under a perpetual license and free updates forever after you purchase. In this video, we are going to use the Producer Edition, seeing everything you need to learn to start as a beginner or even from zero. When you open FL Studio, its main interface opens, showing the main toolbar on top, the browser panel on the left, collecting samples, plugins, and effects and the main workspace where you will work on different windows you can move, open, and close. If you do not find any window, you can reopen it with any of the buttons on top. To start with a new project, go to File, New, or New from Template to pick any ready template. At first, this is completely empty, as you can see from the playlist window that you can open with the first button on top. This window represents your entire project, where you import audio samples, make recordings, and add pattern compositions made with synthesizers or external instruments. These clips, put together, realize the song you export in the end. The best way to understand how to use FL Studio is to start composing with the channel rack or step sequencer. You can open it with the third button on top. This channel rack is perfect to make beats and percussions, generating independent patterns that you can paste on the playlist window where needed. Each pattern is a collection of channels, one per row, which can be audio samples, entire loops, beats, or voice recordings that play every time you enable any step. By default, the channel rack shows four percussion channels in a single pattern called Pattern 1. You can turn on any channel by clicking on any step, and turn it off by right-clicking on its steps. You can listen to the result in loop with the spacebar key, with the button on top of the channel rack, or with the main player on top in pattern mode. The time counter is shown on the display in bars, beats, and ticks, or in seconds if you click on it. When making compositions, you may need to adjust the tempo and BPM setting the number of beats per minute. You can click and drag on the tempo up or down to increase or decrease it, or simply right-click on it to get quick values. The time signature is 4-4 by default, so 4 beats per bar, as you can see from the channel rack, where each beat has its own color. Go to Options, Project General Settings to set another time signature. On top, you can adjust the pattern duration and steps by clicking and dragging above. And also apply some swing with the swing knob. To add other channels, use the plus button below, selecting any drum or any digital synthesizer. From the browser window, you can also import short impulses, entire loops, risers, and vocals under Damn. packs Check and speech. We need a beat so easy. You can also drag and drop your own samples directly on the channel rack. Pay attention that each step is always an entire playback of the channel. So make sure that the pattern is long enough and do not put steps too close in order to avoid sound overlapping. Right click on any channel to rename, colorize, or delete it whereas click on its name to change its properties and check its waveform, in particular when the channel is a rendered sample. If you click on a channel with a synth, its interface opens instead so that you can adjust its sound. On the left, click on the green light to mute or unmute any channel and use the knobs to adjust stereo panning and volume level. Once the first pattern is done, you can create another pattern, for example, a new beat pattern, or another to make melodies. To create a new pattern, click on the plus button and define its name. 
the channel rack shows the pattern that is selected from the top. Consider that these patterns always share the entire list of channels, changing only when these are on or off. Also, the pattern length can differ. To manage the current pattern, make sure to click on the left arrow on top. Now let's see how to make melodies. In this case, you have to open the piano roll from the second button on top in order to set when any channel must be played and also at which note and octave. The piano roll shows the channel selected from the top. If this channel has steps defined from the channel rack, these are shown as short impulses around the default C5 note. You can also test other notes from the left keyboard with the letter representing the note and the number the octave. If you select a channel with a loaded synthesizer, you can test how this sounds. Some of these collect different percussions as you can see from the keyboard. To drop any note, enable the Draw tool and click on the right row. You can adjust its length by dragging its edges and move it in time or in another row by clicking and dragging it. This will snap to the grid set by the grid options in the top left corner unless you hold down the Alt or the Option key to avoid snappings. To remove notes, just right-click on these. Use your mouse wheel while holding down the Control or Command key to zoom in and out. If you check the channel rack, the channels modified on the piano roll discard the steps and show all notes as rectangles and impulses as triangles. The control section at the bottom allows you to adjust the properties for each single note or the entire channel in time. You can click and drag on any note to adjust its velocity, panning or release level, or switch to channel controls to set volume, panning and pitch in time by drawing their envelope. You can also double-click on any note to correct its complete set of properties. Once your patterns are ready, you can reopen the playlist window to compose your project. Select the pattern from the left and use the Draw tool to drop several copies, as you do with notes on the piano roll. You can also import audio samples that get listed on the left as audio clips. The playlist window shows the main timeline on top in bars and beats and several rows, or tracks collecting patterns and samples, shown with their name, audio waveform, or notes, and controls applied. You can move these clips, adjust their length, or remove these with a right click. To play and stop the playlist content, use the spacebar key. To play and pause the button on top instead. You can also use the main player of the toolbar, as long as it is in song mode. Next to it, you get two knobs. Use the first one to adjust the master volume, and the second one to set the project pitch of your compositions without affecting rendered samples. To play back a specific region, right click on the playlist timeline and drag on it. This red selection region will be continuously repeated. Click on the green button on the left to mute or unmute an entire track, and enable the Mute tool to disable specific clips of the playlist. You can also use the Playback tool to play single clips on the go by clicking on these. With the fourth button on top, you open the mixer. Very useful to adjust the output from each channel connected from the channel rack. Next to each channel, you get a number that corresponds to the insert number of the mixer, so that you can manage multiple selected channels in one place. For example, you can mute, unmute, adjust stereo panning, or their volume level while checking the meter. On the right, you get slots to add effects, filters, and audio corrections by selecting these from the list. 
Next to each effect, you can use the mix knob to tune the percentage of the sound effect over the channel output, and click on the green light to disable or enable each effect. Now let's see how to record with your microphone on one of the playlist tracks. Select an empty insert channel and connect it to a track by right-clicking on it and going to Track Mode, Audio Track. At this point, select the insert channel. Set the correct input source on the right and check if the channel is armed and responsive. If not, make sure to check your input sources from Options audio settings. If the insert channel is responsive, you can start recording with the record button on top, getting the result on the chosen playlist track. You can stop the recording by clicking again on top. To save the project, use Ctrl or Command and S, saving it as a .flp file. You may not be able to save it if you use a trial version. To export your playlist song, go to File, Export, and select the file format. Define file name, destination folder, and complete options including bit depth and quality. On Mode, select what to export, selecting Full Song for the complete playlist content, Pattern for the current pattern selected, or song selection to export the playlist content within the selected red region you have. Click on Start to export. Thank you very much for watching this video. Do not forget to visit our YouTube channel and our website for more free and outstanding music tutorials.